Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. These three countries are located in Northeast Europe. They are usually called the Baltic States because they all border the Baltic Sea. While Denmark, Sweden, and Finland also do, these three are more associated with being Nordic countries. And so, the title of Baltic is usually reserved for Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. It's interesting because while the languages of Lithuania and Latvia are categorized as Baltic types, the language in Estonia is identified as a Finnic language, the same type as Finland. But the label is given because of the region, and not so much the language, because again, they border the sea. The term Baltic actually stems from the name given to this sea in the 11th century and earlier. Although there are several theories about its origin, most of them ultimately trace it to the Indo-European root of the word bel, which means white or fair. Other than the Baltic Sea, these days they border Russia, Poland, and Belarus. The three countries do not form an official union, although there was a proposal for a Baltic Duchy Union in 1918 when Estonia and Latvia declared independence. Their flag would have been this white and black Nordic cross, whose origin we'll see in a minute. Yet this never happened, but they do engage in intergovernmental cooperation. An example of this is the Baltic Defense College, in whose logo we can see the three flags together. In addition, they're all members of NATO, the European Union, and the Eurozone. Their flags are these ones. Estonia has a horizontal tricolor, blue, black, and white. Latvia has a horizontal bicolor in three stripes, red and white, with the middle white stripe being thinner. And Lithuania also has a horizontal tricolor of yellow, green, and red. What's also very interesting and perhaps unknown to some is that each of them also have another alternate flag. Lithuania's is their historical standard of a red field with a knight in white and blue color. Estonia's is equal in the background except having pointy ends on the right. There's a technical vexillological term for this but I don't know it. With a coat of arms in the center, a golden shield with three blue lions. And Latvia has a white banner with a double lined cross centered in the middle in red. These three are usually used as state or naval ensigns of the three states and are very much related to their history and the way their flags once existed. So in this video, I want to talk about the history and meaning of the Baltic states flag. Also quickly mentioning their coats of arms throughout. Understanding where they come from, how they evolved and what they mean. I already did a whole video about Lithuania's flag alone, so if the summarized version of this video doesn't satisfy you, you can go watch that, I'll post the link in the description. And if there's enough demand for it, I'll do dedicated videos for Estonia and Latvia as well. So let's get straight into it. Starting with Estonia and Latvia because they have a common history, especially in the beginning. As we just saw, today's Estonian flag looks like this. Black, blue and white and Latvia's is white and red. But they didn't always look like that. These two countries' appearance as a nation state took place somewhat late in history when compared to other countries. This is because for a lot of its history, they were part of other kingdoms or empires or existed under different states. But the concept of their people was already around for a long time. In the first century AD, Roman historian Tacitus wrote his treaty on Germania and in it, he also identified the people of the Baltics, west of the Swedes, as Estonians, referring to them as Aesti. Yet there was still no one unique country or kingdom in both cases, and so no one unique flag. The rise of Christianity and the Crusades of Eastern Europe did, however, bring more attention to the Baltic. In fact, it was in Estonia that the legend of the creation of the world's oldest flag, the Danish flag, supposedly took place when in the battle of Lindenes in 1219 the Danebrog would have fallen from the sky as the Catholic Danes attacked the pagan inhabitants of the Baltic. So I guess for a little while the Danish flag was the one flying over that land. There was technically a duchy of Estonia but it was a Danish protectorate and its symbol was the seal 
of the Danish king. This seal contained the three lions that we see today in Estonia's coat of arms. Then there were some local revolts against the Danish and the Danish themselves kind of wanted to leave and so they sold their provinces to the next rulers, the Livonian Order, an autonomous branch of the Teutonic Order which was a Catholic military organization. But the seal of the Danish king remained as the symbol of the city of Tallinn, then being used to represent all of Estonia. And for this time, after their Christianization, the regions of both Estonia and Latvia were known as Terra Mariana, the land of the Lady Mary, being ruled in part by the Livonians, but as a part of the larger Teutonic order, who bore this flag, a white background and a black cross, the one some people wanted to use as a united Baltic duchy flag. In these coins from the 15th, 16th century, we can see the symbol. The Teutonic rule was the reality until 1561, when the territory became divided into three. The Duchy of Livonia, a vassal of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. They had no flag but this coat of arms, a red shield, and what seems to be a white griffin, bearing the letters S and A. But this didn't last long, and sovereignty passed from the Lithuanians to the Swedish becoming Swedish Livonia, bearing the Swedish flag, but at least getting their own coat of arms. Also in the current Latvian colors, whose origin we'll see in a minute. The Duchy of Kauerland, who had their own flag, was the other state. Also in the colors of Latvia, red and white, as well as this coat of arms. These two occupied the territory of Latvia, mostly, although stretching into Estonia. The third state was the Duchy of Estonia itself, in the north, but now also under the dominion of the Swedish Empire, thus bearing their flag and coat of arms. These three states and their respective flags lasted until the 18th century, time when everything changed again. Kauerland became a governorate of the Russian Empire. They kept their coat of arms, but the flag changed to a horizontal tricolor of green, blue and white, probably in the style of the Russian flag. The same happened with Estonia, the old duchy became a Russian ruled region, with the same flag as Kauerland, but having a purple stripe in the center instead of blue, and keeping their own coat of arms, which still matches the original Danish king one, and the one that the country uses until today. And guess what happened to Livonia? Also a protectorate of the Russians, also with a tricolor, really similar to today's Bulgaria flag, being red, green, and white, and also keeping its coat of arms. And then, finally, in 1918, these three states came to an end as the two new countries were officially formed and their sovereignty was fully conquered, now existing as Estonia and Latvia. Estonia took the territory of the Estonia governorate, plus part of Livonia's, the rest of Livonia and part of Kauerland became Latvia. And so, also in 1918, they officially adopted their current flags. So, why did they choose these flags. The flag of Estonia fundamentally grew out of the flag of the Teutonic Order, the black cross on a white field. Now, remember how the territory was called Terra Mariana due to its Christianization? This is important because apparently the color of the Lady Mary is blue and white. And so, when creating a Marian flag, the Teutonic Order imported the standard of the Catholic Lady Mary, thus creating a flag for the Terra Mariana, their Nordic cross, plus Mary's colors. A really cool flag, in my opinion. Mary being the queen of heaven for Catholics, her flag consists of blue, representing the heaven, sky, and white, the color of purity. This original flag was also used as the flag of Pomerania in Germany for a while. It's the flag of the Cathedral of St. Mary in Luxembourg, and supposedly also taken for the background in the San Marino flag. So, this could be the origin of the colors, although some people also associate them with the Finnish colors, which the Estonians could have wanted to embrace due to their cultural and geographical proximity. The usage of the three stripes is justified with there being three colors they wanted to represent, perhaps the influence of the Russian banners they previously had during occupation, and also the origin point for almost all tricolors, the French Revolution and its ideals of a modern, democratic, and free state. When it comes to Latvia, we also saw the Livonia and Kauerland states already using these colors. And here is the apparent reason why. The red, white, red Latvian flag is first mentioned very early in the medieval rhymed chronicle 
of Livonia, which covers the period from 1180 to 1343, and is thus amongst the oldest flags in the world, although not in continuous use by a single country. The chronicle tells of a battle that took place around 1279, in which ancient Latvian pagan tribes from Sezis, a city in the north, went to war, bearing a red flag with a white stripe. Legend counts the story of the mortally wounded chief of a Latvian tribe who was wrapped in a white sheet. The part of the sheet on which he was laying remained white, but the two edges were stained with his blood. During the next battle, the blood-stained sheet was used as a flag, and according to legend, this time the Latvian warriors were successful and drove the enemy away. Ever since then, Latvian tribes have used these colors to represent themselves, and so did their successor states, coming all the way until today's modern Latvia. Their coat of arms is this one, and in it we see the coat of arms of Kowalin, the Red Lion, and the coat of arms of Livonia, the White Griffin, representing the two former states who came together to form the country. The three golden stars above also represent the three regions, Polish Livonia, Swedish Livonia, and Kowalind, and a golden sun in a blue field represents freedom. So, where was Lithuania in the middle of all of this? While modern Lithuania occupies a little bit of what was once Karoland, most of its territory had an entirely different history. I'll keep it summarized because, again, I've done an entire video on this which you can go watch. The story starts at about the same time, in the 13th century, but evolves very differently, being closely related to the Polish. In 1236, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania was founded as, as far as I know, the first Lithuanian state. They used this coat of arms, of a red shield with a knight on a white horse, the origin of their current alternate flag and what remains still as their coat of arms today. The first usage of the flag seems to be in the Battle of Grunwald in 1410 AD, where the Lithuanian soldiers carried a red banner with the Vitis on it, the white knight one of the oldest emblems in European history, and certainly one of the oldest still in use today, having its origin in the seal of Lithuania's early rulers. The knight is said to depict the Grand Duke Algirdas of Lithuania, being put into use by his heir, Duke Yogaila, who added a double cross to the shield, although in some depictions the knight uses another symbol, the Columns of Geriminas, one of the earliest symbols of Lithuania, some pagan tribes I guess used it, and it's even still used in their military flags today. Eventually they became united with Poland in the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth, bearing this bicolor of red, white, and red, where their symbol was present in the coat of arms. From 1815 to 1918, they were also occupied by the Russians as their northern brothers, thus having the Russian flag fly over their territory. Although there was also a governorate, a local government, which kept their historical symbol. And then, with independence, they chose their new flag. Why go with a new tricolor instead of keeping their incredibly old and historical red field and white knight? Well, apparently after the war, there was a general drive in Europe to redesign flags, and they followed it. But there were also three other reasons. One, wanting to be a republic and thus distance themselves from the duchy. Two, the fact that red was the color of revolutionaries, especially in Russia, which they wanted nothing to do with. And three, the Vitis flag was too complicated for distribution and mass use. The inspiration for the tricolor was, as is the case with pretty much all of them, the French Revolution and its ideals. The colors were frequently used in traditional dresses of the region, although who decided to propose them is unknown to me. Then, in 2004, to honor the 750th anniversary of the coronation of King Mindaugas, they decided that the traditional and historical duchy flag would be brought back as their state flag. A very wise move, in my opinion, as it's a much cooler flag. These three countries were once again occupied by the Russians and Germans during the 20th century, and during these times, they had their occupants' banners fly over their lands, but thankfully, they were quick to regain their independence, restoring their flags to those who represent their independence. When it comes to the meaning of the colors, we already saw the historical origin, or what seems to be that origin, but there's also the symbolic meaning that the countries have since associated with the colors. Latvia says the red symbolizes the will of the Latvians to sacrifice their lives for the country and their readiness 
to defend the freedom at all costs. And its historical origin seems to be the legend of their wounded king. Lithuania associates the yellow with prosperity and the sun, green for hope and its forests, and red for the courage of their people and the bloodshed to conquer independence. With the origin of the red being the original coat of arms who also used golden borders to represent the country's wealth. While Estonia's blue is related to the sky and lakes of the region, black for the sorrows that the country had to face and white for their unyielding desire for freedom. When the historical background was the white and black colors of the Teutonic order and the flag of the land of Mariana who also used the white and blue of the Lady Mary. Throughout history we can therefore understand what flags and banners these regions used to represent themselves, alongside with their coats of arms, who sometimes influenced the way flags look as well. How, as time went on, the national identities of these three nations were formed as they passed through different ages, as they were ruled or occupied, or as they belonged to different kingdoms and empires, always taking that time to form their own identity, their own nations, and reaching back into the origin point of their peoples and these different times to choose the ways in which they now represent themselves. So that was a brief look at the history and meaning of the flags of the Baltic states, Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Thanks so much for watching this video. Remember to go check out the one I did fully on Lithuania if you want, that's the first link in the description. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more in-depth videos about Estonia and Latvia as well. Subscribe if you want, and I'll see you next time for more general knowledge.